Because she always talks about it. Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. Next stage on our journey is Run For Your Life. And it's kind of a long one in comparison to what we did before, so buckle in. Buckle your asses to your chairs if you have seatbelts. Oh, it's Danny Trejo. Oh. There we go. Jesus Christ! Don't you ever fucking knock? Good work, Sanchez. Yeah. What is he? Is he a cop? Is he a PI or something? Well, fuck me gently. What the fuck? That ain't no fucking private eye. That's a fucking ghost. That, that's a myth. That, that's a fucking hitman. Hitman? Oh, shit. You know, he knows who we are, huh? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? This fucking changes everything. This is this changes everything. <laughs> what the fuck are we gonna do with him? Knock, knock, knock. Housekeeping. Oh, this isn't good. Hello. <laughs> his legs are really short. What's wrong with his legs? Buenos dias, Peter. Hello. Yeah, we got us a little mess in here. Why don't you come on in and clean it up? Yeah, that'd be good. Sure, come on in, darling. No, don't go in. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You fucking animal. And that's what I call a sweet slice. You know, nothing would give me more pleasure than to kill you right here and now. Me kill a legendary hitman, yeah, but uh, I don't need that kind of attention. So, uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh oh. Got a bad, bad thing. Agent 47 is going to get framed for murder, guys. Well, now they won't be looking That's for not good. Away. It makes me really worried about, you know, Agent 47 being thought of as a cold-blooded killer. I tell you, I don't ordinarily yeehaw, but this is a fucking yeehaw. Fucking Christmas. Okay. What you sipping on, buddy? Nah. Well, hey, don't be a, don't be a, don't hog it to yourself. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh. I get it. Tinkle, tinkle, little jar. Wait, you wow. You know, that? I hope the next generation of games has better liquid physics. Point? You know what I mean? Because I'm really tired of watching people drink from empty cups or cups with, like, paper in it. You know what I mean? Come on, darling. Uh-oh. Put a giddy up in your stick. That's that Bacardi 181 or whatever that <laughs> shit is. Is that Bacardi 181? Does anyone like Bacardi? I, I like rum, but I don't drink Bacardi. All right, so here's the stage. Well, wait, not quite yet. 47, so I gotta wake up. Uh oh, Peta, she's dead. What are we gonna do? What the fuck? Who the fuck are these people? Police! Police! Police? What the fuck? How, how the f What? Okay, maybe 47's been out for a long time. And, uh, here's 47 showing off, uh... Yeah, I don't think you want to guys want to get in here, I mean... So anyway, uh, 47 here is showing proper safety protocol by staying low to the ground, because, as all of you know, uh, smoke stays... Smoke rises and heat rises. Let's get out here. Boom! Yeah, where did that explosion come from? I don't understand. And there goes another one. What the fuck? <laughs> How do you know there's a woman in the hotel room? Everything's burning and exploding. How do you know there's a woman there? That doesn't make any damn sense. Wow. Yeah. So as soon as we get up here, we're gonna need to make a move really fast. 
And uh, these police officers, they can see really well in the dust. They can see better than we can. And uh, either they have detective vision too, or they've been eating their carrots, I guess. Right? The carrots give you good vision, right? Uh, I think. At least that's what they said. I used to eat a lot of carrots when I was young. Yeah, you know, when I was young, um, they didn't have you know nice, neat baby carrots already peeled for you. They uh, wow, really, dude? He must have worn his vest. <laughs> what? How'd you do that? <laughs> you see that guy? He just popped up into the air. Right. So um, they didn't have pre-cut baby carrots when I was a little kid. They only had raw carrots. Big raw carrots. The kinds of that you see Bugs Bunny chomping on. And somehow that knife just passed through solid metal. And that's fine by me. Um, did I get your gun yet? I guess I did. So, if you want to get suit only, no kills in this particular section, well, good luck to you, because it's really fucking hard. I wouldn't want to do that. And, uh... Yeah, this whole place is just fucking falling apart. So, uh, yeah. Let's break this door. There we go. I'm gonna run. Okay. Boom! Right through the glass. Right through the candy glass. Uh oh but they're still hot on our trail. God damn it. Fucking Chicago PD working for uh Everything clear. Who is that? Who is that gangster? Oh shit. Here's the inception music. Ba ba. We're going down another level, guys. We're going into the second dream level. Okay, 47. Take a deep breath. We got to uh We got to watch out for our killer ex-wife and we got to uh we gotta steal that guy's dreams and make him see the the flower, the paper flower, I don't know. Anyone like that movie Inception? I really liked it. I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a couple of years. Maybe I'll watch it on uh, Netflix? No, no. Netflix doesn't have any good movies. They only have movies from the 1980s and straight-to-DVD bullshit. problem with straight-to-DVD bullshit is that, uh... It's bad, but it's not funny bad. It's just boring. It's just mediocre, you know? There we go. And you're dead. Let's take this guy's outfit. There we go. And let's drag you over here. There we go. Sweet dreams, Prince. Okay. So, um, one thing that I'm going to try to look for... Um, is the power cord. Oh, here it is. Nice. Now, the power cord is a nice replacement for our choking wire. It's going to help us lethally and silently take down targets without leaving a gigantic pool of blood the way, uh, the way our knife does. As fun as the knife is, I mean, the power cord really is a better option. And I'm going to kill this guy. Snap his neck. Boom. You're dead, friend. And uh, I'm not going to bother hiding the body. Fuck that. Um, let's go up here. Now, I imagine this stage would be pretty fun. Um as a contracts level. By the way, I, I hope you guys are uh, making your own contracts. I'm really looking forward to playing those. I guess the deadline is Wednesday night or Thursday, I guess. Um, I'm trying to keep a weekly uh, schedule, you know. Um, but of course, having a weekly schedule means that sometimes uh, quality fails me. Oh, here's another conversation. Hey, you think you'd survive that drop? Don't worry about it. Just keep a lookout. Yeah, just say it. Just get away from the ledge, okay? You could slip and die. Hey, no one's gonna die. Just 
Just keep your eyes open. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow, this guy's just fucking asking for it, huh? Um, what can we do here? Let's murder this guy. Choke him out. And throw him there. There we go. And I don't like this guy. Oh, damn it. Lame. Oh, well, whatever. Um. Uh oh, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, you're dead too. <laughs> He's got one of those waterproof things on. Um. I want to kill that guy, but he's out of reach. Ah, oh, fuck it. Whatever. Um, so... This is another one of those linear sneaking levels. Um... But for some reason, Hitman Absolution, as far as I'm concerned, kind of fails as a, uh... A traditional stealth game. Not really sure why kind of feels like there aren't enough options for sneaking around people. Or maybe it's just because there are just too many guards. Sorry, but the sound is really quiet. There we go. Uh, maybe that'll be a little bit better. So where do you want us? You? No way. Secure the area up there. Gotta be. Hey, oh, seriously, dude? Hey, you, wait up. Um, yeah, I'd really like to talk about all that, but, uh. Hold up now. Turn around. Show's over. Yeah, get the fuck down, motherfucker. That was close. And now we got the Chicago PD and the Saganash boys uh, walking over there. So let's try to use that uh, to our advantage. Whoops. Yep, you see, um, in most games you'd have to sneak around people, but in this game you can just hit a button and walk past them. Which, I mean, in most of the Hitman games... Uh, that wouldn't have been a huge problem, right? I mean, you just put on an outfit and walk past them, but... Uh, in this game, you need instinct and... I, I don't know. Fuck it. Whatever. Um, you guys were saying that... Uh, oh, die, die, die. You guys were saying that I should have some sort of gimmick to make the game more interesting. Well... Uh, I'm trying. Alright, so... Here's another door. Hiya! There we go. Oh, boy. Let's jump down here. There we go. Onto the turf, I guess. Or the insulation. It's probably insulation, right? It's not, it's not grass turf. Uh oh, here comes the fucking helicopter. I think a lot of you guys have seen this stage too. This is probably, uh. No 47, not that way. This level actually, uh. Well, the section is easy to get shot up. Um, because of these fucking cages all over the place. And, uh, the best way to avoid getting shot up is to take cover, of course. But I'm still getting hit. And hopefully my computer won't freeze. Because for some reason that section causes the game to freeze a lot. Okay, good, it didn't. But, uh, it did slow down. Look at that face. Look at 
Look how dusty that face is. Let's sneak around before these guys see us. And uh, we're going to walk around here to the back. Wait for this guy to turn around. Who the hell is this guy? I gotta say, uh, aesthetically wise, I don't like the way uh, the Chicago Police Department's badges look. You know, I don't like that star. It looks like an old West badge or some shit. When they snap, they fucking snap, you know? And I think we're in the... There we go. And what the fuck is this place? What the fuck? Huh. So, uh... We're already wanted as a police officer, so that's gonna make sneaking around a lot harder, but... Uh, Luciano's Pizza, some soda, lots of candles. Uh, microwave... Ugh, gross. Huh. Yeah. What's this? The Rock Socks? Wood Stick? I don't believe her. Rock, rock, rock. All classics. All classics. And what? Join the Lever Revolution, free your mind, and fuck the cops. <laughs> I like that. And look at this guy. He's just standing in front of a row of soulless police officers, jacking off his dick and giving him the bird. Yeah, I like that message. This is Matthew Blows, Acid Legends. And here's the poster for the stage. Bro, dude, calm down. Maybe they just want to chill. They don't want to chill? No one wants to chill. Good luck with that, guys. So, you know what would make this level cooler? If there was someone we could assassinate. And this poor guy trying to flush an entire marijuana plant down there. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Alright, objective is of course evade the police. What's this guy doing? He's puffing on his bong. And... Wow. Look at this wax. I don't think wax works like that. <laughs> I mean, does it? I don't, I don't think wax can just create a, a really... S what? Huh. So, there's supposed to be like a conversation going on here, but it's not happening for some reason. I don't know why that is. Let's take a close look at this guy I've just murdered for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, I really hope the water physics are improved with the next generation, because I'm getting tired of looking at that. Ooh, another knife. Nice. To replace the one we lost. Uh, let's go over here. Well, well. Wow. Talk about pupil dilation. You little farmer boys are way up Shit's Creek. <laughs> you know that, don't you? Well, uh, please, Ralph, come on, man. We any harm. Medicinal. You got a freaking ecosystem in here. You think something like this would just go unnoticed? Jesus. Get out of my face. You and your little freaks are coming downtown. Okay, so... Marijuana facts. Actually, I was reading Rolling Stone earlier today. Uh, killing time at my job. And... It was all about marijuana. I guess next year, California, I'm not sorry, not California, Colorado will have uh, legal recreational marijuana. It's kind of exciting, I guess. Hey, that just I mean, I. Gotta go buy the book, right? <laughs> so go get your latex gloves. You know, the one with the powder coating. Ah, yeah. Funny how we only follow procedure when it's my turn to dig deep. Oh, God's sake. 
I think this guy enjoys that. Um, right, so I don't do drugs myself. I prefer to be sober, but, uh, yeah, it's nice that, uh, you know, we're finally, well, huh. Man, they got a really, quite a setup in here, but, yeah, I, I don't really know a whole lot about growing plants. I don't really have a green thumb, but shouldn't there be, I don't know, like sun lamps or something around here? You know, I mean, not, not just, uh, sprinklers. And the water running through these nasty pipes must be filled with rust. I mean... Uh oh, no. shit, shit. That was fucking close. And I'm gonna hit this checkpoint, because why the fuck not? Uh, let's get this bong. That's a fun way to kill someone. Yeah, fuck the cops. Join the revolution. You know what's funny? More fucking candles. Ugh, boy. Uh, I never really liked candles. I mean, I have I had a few of them around the house when I was a kid in case the power went out. But uh, I don't know. They're just a really inefficient way to generate light. You know, quite a lot of art here. What the? F Can you believe these people fucking live like this? All right. Ah, oh, you fucking hippies. Oh, you like smoking weed, huh? Yeah, there you go. Ah, take that. And, whoa, seriously? He died? Come on, dude. This is the fucking glass bong. What's wrong with this guy's face? He's got scratches on his face. Um, yeah. So, uh... Huh. <laughs> what? That looks like a soccer ball with, like, a million sections. That looks like Metroid or something. Oh, that looks like uh, F-Zero, the racing game. <laughs> that looks like a really cool uh, jellyfish with some sunglasses on. That looks like a pig with his mouth opened up. And that's the same thing as before. Alright. Um, wow. Huh. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of the way I was living back in college. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. More marijuana plants. Like like I said, I, I don't know a lot about growing plants in general, let alone marijuana. But don't you need, like, you know, really strong lamps or something? I mean, you can't really grow them in your dungeon, right? Alright, um, we can look through there. There's fucking nothing in there. We were just in there, actually. And we can go through here. Let's, uh, hey, see what's up. Seen a combination for this safe? Has anyone seen the combination to the safe? Yeah, I gotta tell you, the voices for these police officers really annoy me. I'm not really sure what it is. I especially find it annoying the way the black police officers have the same exact voices as the white police officers. They're just, like, so fucking lazy. I just, uh... Huh. So, um... Make love, not war. Save the whales. Peace, peace, peace. And then there's this fucking safe here. Well, this is our ticket out of here, folks. It's our way of sneaking past everyone very conveniently. And, uh, but we gotta figure out a way to open it up first. You know, I gotta wonder if the landlord knows what they're doing with this place. Um, I wonder who pays the rent. I mean, I'll see, a notebook, huh? 4732. And a nice pen. Let's take that. I really do like stationery. I like, I have lots of notebooks and sketchbooks piled up in my room that I haven't even used yet. Um, oh, hey, now we have the option to open the safe. Let's do that. All right. What's in here? Oh, my goodness. Look at all that cash. And what? An explosive? But I thought you guys were all about peace and love and all that stuff. Well, we're going to save that for a little later. But uh, I'd like to take a look around first before we leave. 
And that guy's turned around. He's using his flashlight to look in a well-lit hallway for some reason. And, uh... What's in here? Wow, this place is something, huh? It's much nicer than all those other shitty apartments. I mean, there's, act there's an actual decor. What's this? Prices. One half hour for $15. Regular bath. And 25 for a mud bath. Not a bad deal at all. And $25 would buy a... I'll buy a whole pizza, right? So, uh... You know, that's, that's enough to sustain a hippie, right? I'm gonna wait for this guy to turn around first, and then I'm gonna kill him. Okay, please don't turn around. There you go. And let's put him in the mud bath. I think he could use some, some rest, you know? Because, really, police in this country really are overworked. Okay. Wow. That kind of reminds me of, uh... You know, one time I got some of those glow-in-the-dark uh, stars or something from the science museum. But my ceiling wasn't really uh, the kind of ceiling that afforded well to sticky things, so it didn't quite work out. Listen, Cheats, this ain't a bus. The guy we're looking for is extremely dangerous. We're all dangerous, man. We're all naked under our clothes, and our animal hearts beat with the same blood. And if we don't nail this guy, all that animal blood of yours and your friends is gonna be spilled all over the place. Now let I don't me let him intimidate you. you. Fuck know. that guy. He can't get in without a fucking warrant. That's right. What does that say? Disco or some shit? Million bucks, I know you from somewhere. Now you can't. Oh shit! Now I've never actually been in here before. Die! I'll teach you to mouth off to a cop, you motherfucker. Look at you in your marijuana shirt and your and your hat, you fucking hipster. There. Now I'll teach you. How dare you assert your rights? How? dare you? You should be licking my boots. Ooh, what's this? Ugh, what is that, mold flavor? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Luciano's has some really odd flavors. Mold pizza, what the fuck? Oh, this looks like the party room. Let's see, high Scotland whiskey. I don't like whiskey, I like rum. I'm not a big drinker, but when I drink, I drink rum. What do you guys drink? That's the question for this video. I'm gonna start doing questions for videos, I think. <laughs> that bong has a monkey on it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, that's the question. What are you guys sipping on, huh? Insert tape into tape recorder? Huh. Um, swap bong, screwdriver. Okay. Okay, I think I know what that is. Hold on a second. Yeah, party. And uh looks like we're attracting some party animals. I love this food. Hey, uh, you wanna what? You know. Oh. Yeah, why the hell not, right? They'll call if they need us. Ha <laughs> Yeah, that's right, you fucking hypocrites. Light up. What are you laughing at? Nothing. I just, I just, I just love this tunage. Uh huh. Yep. That's right. Fucking enjoy it. Now die, die, you pricks. Really, you're not gonna die from that? Die, die, you fucking bastards. Die, all of you. Die. Yeah. Suck it! Join the revolution, open your mind, and fuck the cops. <laughs> now we gotta get out of here with our asses intact. So, oh shit, I have no instinct. Fuck, fuck! 
Okay, well. All right, all right, take it easy. Ah, fuck you. All right, you motherfucker. That's it. Die. Die. Um, excuse me, were you fucking shooting me? Oh, shit. Uh, gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, come on. No, god damn it. Can't proceed. No, I don't wanna die. Okay. You're dead too. Fuck. Well, let me go now. Oh, come on. There's one guy on the other side of the freaking level. Ugh, damn it. Now it's all fuzzy and shit. Alright. I don't want to go to this guy because he'll shoot. Okay. Thank you, game, for making this even fucking easier than it already is. There we go. Oh, really? There's another red guy over there? Oh. See, this is another thing about Hitman, alright? Is that you can't go to the next part of the level unless, uh. Unless fucking, uh, you know. Well, I mean, you get it. Let's sneak around this guy. Yeah! That'll teach you. You bastard. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's call this elevator. Alright. Open up. And... I'm gonna step in that elevator and head on down. What? Oh, no! That guy, he went missing. What the fuck? What happened to that guy? Oh, no. Uh, D did his wife do something to him? Did he did he get blown up in the wait? No, <sighs> that hotel thing was like an hour ago. How could they have printed up a missing poster? How do they know he's missing? You're you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to uh, report people missing until they're gone for like forty eight hours or something, right? I think, isn't that the rule? Why why am I looking at a black screen for so long? Um, did the game freeze? Uh... Did it freeze? I guess it froze. Oh, it didn't freeze. Nice. That poor, poor man and his abusive wife. Well, that's what happens. I mean, if you guys see... You know, something something happening between a couple. And nice. We're not we're not wanted anymore, so we can do some more sneaking around. Uh Allen and Sons. Um, right, so if, if you see abuse going on in a relationship, you sh really should report it or something. And don't let it go on and on until uh hmm. Cigarettes. Cigarette machines. I remember those things. They used to have one at the pizza place near my house on Center Street. And, my god, that place stink. Oh, okay. So, uh... Let's just walk through the door and use our instinct. Why not? No, no. Y you guys don't know me. Y you don't want to, uh... Y you don't want to, uh... Alright. Um, don't worry guys. No, no, uh, nothing to see here. I'm just, uh, I'm just inspecting this donut. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, I'm just... No, no, no. No, I never quit. I never left. Yeah, just inspecting this fucking donut right here. Okay, so... Let's get this gun here, and let's head out the fucking door. Yeah, so, in, uh, I think someone mentioned in the thread, but... You can use different things to hide with. Uh, inspecting that donut's one of them. Oh, hey, I still have the bomb. That's pretty sweet. So, one thing you can do to hide from these guys is to stand in this crowd. 
and just gotta keep it cool. And hopefully we won't be seen. What are these guys using flashlights for? Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess that makes some sense. They stick the flashlight in your face and go rah 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 rah. Respect my authority. That guy just salute to me. Oh no, never mind. Um, we can hide here. Yeah, I know we're hunting a, a killer, a psychopath, a murderer, but I'm really interested in this duck. You know, I really want to win this duck for my girlfriend. I don't know. I don't know the train schedule. All right, let's continue on. Like I said, this stage uh, has a lot of sections. It's uh, kind of long. Now, we could head up here, but we're not going to do that. That's a pain in the ass. Instead, we're going to go through here, I think. Let's just head down here. And we pass this window. Climb through. Hopefully, no one will see us. Tell him to wait, dude. I'm. I will be there. Hey, stand in up. Minutes, I swear to hey, Fine. The there. You happy? I know. Yes, I know. We gotta make. All right. Dude, I so, uh, huh? Sal Bulldog Burke. No. Call five 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 sixty hurt. It's quite a looker, huh? God damn, I mean, <laughs> he didn't even bother uh, fixing himself up for his fucking poster, huh? So, for some reason, this, uh, hmm. For some reason, the subway, uh, I don't know what to call it, room control center, you gotta use a fucking ladder to get up to the top? Some kind of murder investigation. Already closed off all the tracks. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they can do that to the police. What do you want from me? Hey, you know, it's my ass on the line down here. You call City Hall if you want to yell at somebody. I got 400 angry commuters to string along. All right, that's enough of that. And we can't dress up as a Chicago elevated train personnel person. Now, uh, I know in Chicago, at least I'm under the impression that, uh, the subway system isn't really a subway system, it's mostly elevated trains. At least that's, that's the impression that I get. Uh, here in Boston we have a happy mix of subways, uh, trains that are on the ground or in a trench, but not really under anything. And we have a few elevated trains, not very many. There used to be more, but they took them down. Alright, nothing to see here, friend. <laughs> Lady, what are you looking at? Your low-res face is so cute. I just want to pinch your low-res cheeks. Alright. Oh, hey, how are you? Let's hide. Alright. So, uh... Chicago PD. No, no Boston PD, are they? Not able to find a psycho killer. I guess if it was the oh, the dancing fouls. Downtown, the music, the bitches are in town. Okay. Um. Excuse me, you fucking prick. So, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. Would 47 be able to evade the Boston police for very long. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, he probably would. He'd probably just dress up as one of them or something. Um, newspaper. So, here's kind of a, an endurance round. You got to uh, hide in this, uh, this crowd here without the police finding you for 60 seconds. That's it. On hard mode, it's not too difficult. We've got instinct. We've got the crowd. Bottom in extreme and oops. Hello. And purist obviously yeah, is pretty hard. No, I'm, I'm still at the train station. All right, we got 30 seconds to go, so let's cha cha South American coffee, original blend mountain yes, coffee. Yes, I have my pepper spray. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's a case. Make it a big two. <laughs> the guy on the left kind of looks like uh. I will call you. I promise. 
I'm not really sure what he looks like. He looks like somebody I've seen in movies before. Okay. What's up there? Hello? Free shelter? Yeah, I'm sorry. Free? What is that, socialism or something? Alright, here comes our ride. Finally. It took long enough. Jesus. Alright. Let's walk in here. Like, there we go. There goes the Inception music again. Going down to the third dream level. And we're gonna run over that train or some shit. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Whew. So, uh. Not bad, I guess. Um. I'm not sure are a lot of points here. Library. You know, Chicago, at least in this game, has a lot of dilapidated buildings. For any of you that live in or near Chicago, does Chicago really have that many broken down buildings and things? I was under the impression that uh, a lot of big time movies, uh, sorry, big time movies, big time cities don't really have a lot of that stuff anymore. Uh, Boston definitely doesn't. It's, it's built up a lot in the past few years. Here's a bunch of shit we don't care about. Power cord, very useful. Um, tables have turned. Uh, okay. Right, I was gonna blow them up with a safe, but then I used the in-stereo thing instead. Um, all right. Well, that's it for Let's Play Hitman uh, Absolution. I'm Nick Meister, and I'll see you next time. I underestimated the arms dealer. And now I'm paying the price. I must get out, reach street level, keep a low profile, escape in the crowd. The police are closing in.